Six Zombies has its mistakes, its bumps, its hurdles, but so far, I feel like the launch for this game has been super, super clean. No real major bugs. Me personally haven't seen any huge leaks of Easter eggs online. I feel like Treyarch has done a very great job at keeping everything secretive for this new game. But with that all being considered, there is one major issue that if Treyarch doesn't fix, could really hurt the future of Black Ops Six Zombies. And that is the power of their wonder weapons. Donald Trump, if you can hear us, please, Donald Trump, please save me. Please save me, Donald Trump, please. Now, don't get me wrong. Both wonder weapons are very, very cool to use. The beam smasher and the jet gun from each map, respectively. But the issue with these two weapons is they're frankly just not powerful enough, especially against the special zombies. Here. Oh, I shit. have no point because I just every perk in the game. <laughs> <laughs> I might be sucks. You got me to the glitch up here. Oh my god. That's just so <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> That's, That's just so <laughs> fucking ridiculous. <laughs> what the fuck? There's 12. <laughs> they all did the exact same animation. <laughs> What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh my god, they're all coming down! <laughs> Chuck, Chuck, help! Oh, yes. God, yes. What the fuck? They're manglers! There's so when you're playing Liberty Falls and you're using the jet gun, it really feels like a chore trying to deal with all of the manglers, the abominations, and everything that we've seen because they spawn at such a high spawn rate that the one weapon just doesn't do enough against them. You're at round 27 shooting them with a fully charged shot on the jet gun, they're not dying. And then you're shooting them with 15 more shots of the ray gun in the head, and then they finally die. But when it comes to Terminus, it's the same sort of thing, but except for the Beam Smasher just isn't very powerful. You can use the slowdown effect and then use the Beam Effect. If it gets into those later rounds, the Beam Effect isn't strong enough. Don't, don't get it twisted, it can kill, but for a casual player, they're gonna really struggle using these weapons. And although I think that these weapons are very cool to use, I think that the buffs are necessary. And I think for both Wonder Weapons, these go. First off, they need to do more damage to the special zombies. The high spawn rate of them, how powerful they are, they just don't do enough damage of combating that, especially since a lot of these special zombies have ranged attacks. The second thing that I think they need to do is allow the movement speed, specifically for the jet gun. I know that you wanna make it slower because you're holding a gigantic turbine. I understand that, but it's a wonder weapon from Black Ops Zombies and it feels like a chore to be hauling around the whole time and you have to constantly switch your weapons because it's really heavy to use. Maybe making it harder to use, maybe something like an LMG. Considering how slow you are, and especially when there's super sprinters into the later rounds, I just think that it's too much. And with the Beam Smasher, I just think that gun needs a buff in damage in general with the zombies. I don't think that the laser does enough damage towards any of the zombies. I think it takes too long and you really have to aim for the head. And if you're not aiming for the head, it's gonna take time to kill the zombies. Maybe it should have a slowdown effect when you shoot them with the beam, not just with that secondary sort of ability. But either way, I don't think the Beam Smasher is strong enough. I just woke up in a fucking steaming mood, yeah? Cause I live in a shithole! So considering that Treyarch is usually so good at its wonder weapons, how come that they've really missed the mark on these first two? And like I said, this is a very simple change. All you would really have to do is go in there and just buff it, make it stronger. And I think that Treyarch will do that because they've done a very good job recently at listening to the community when they have concerns. Talking about Easter egg hunt, communicating the look of Liberty Falls, different things that you see at COD Next and the weeks coming into launch. But after this post launch, although we've had a very smooth launch, these next couple of weeks are really gonna dictate the future of this game once that honeymoon phase is over. And when people realize that the Wonder Weapons just aren't cutting it, that could be a big reason why people stop playing the game. So I do want to commend Treyarch for a very great launch, a very smooth launch with very little bugs. Maybe it's different when the Easter egg comes out, but for right now, we're having a very smooth, not a very laggy launch. And I hope that it stays the same way. And I hope that they find an ability to buff the Wonder Weapons because just frankly, they're not strong enough. And if they don't, for some reason, see that this is an issue, it could cost them in the long haul in terms of the longevity and how long people are really going to be playing this game after the first week. 
But either way, I don't want to get super negative. I just had to clickbait you just a little bit. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. See you tomorrow for the Easter egg hunt. Leave a like and subscribe. I'm in the thick of it, everybody knows. And now, folks, it's time to say goodnight. We sincerely appreciate your patronage and hope we've succeeded in bringing you an enjoyable evening of entertainment. Please drive home carefully and come back again soon. Good night.